Hi guys, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm going to talk about one problem that I faced a lot and I'm sure a lot of aspirants face. And the problem is that your mind is jumping from one thing to another when you're trying to focus on something. And because of this, you are not able to do justice to what you're studying or what you're trying to focus on. So let's say you're studying polity, your mind might be jumping to economics, your mind might be jumping to doing answer writing, your mind might be jumping to how will I do essay writing. So this kind of lack of focus when you're jumping from one thing to another thing without being able to complete one thing at a time that disturbs your preparation and also that leads to sometimes lowering your confidence and not being able to go through with your plan or go through with the studies entirely. So I use various techniques, one or two techniques to overcome this and a process. See, you have to have techniques, you have to have some kind of a way to implement a change in your studying or in the problems that you have. But at the same time, you also need to have some mindset to overcome that. So I will tell you first about the technique that I use and then about the mindset that I had. So as far as the technique is concerned, I think one simple thing that you can do is start writing down what you are going to study tomorrow or what you are going to study today and then come back to it and look at it after that time that you have spent on that particular thing. So let's say you are going to study polity 4 chapters today. You have decided I will study 4 chapters of polity today. Somehow I will finish them from morning to evening. So you open the book. Before that you write that particular thing down. I will read these 4 chapters. The chapter on president, parliament or whatever it is or today and this is the time by which I have to finish and then I will do some questions on it. So once you write it down, you commit to it. That is very, very important. Commitment to something comes only from writing it down and then kind of repeating in your mind and uh, telling your mind again and again that I am going to do this particular task. So by writing it down, I used to commit it to my memory, to my particular uh, schedule that I had and I used to be accountable ki mujhe ye karna hai. So I used to normally do it the day before, that is the night before, uh, in the night and that really used to help me out the next day uh, and I used to also go through it a little bit so that I know what I am going to do the next day. So that is one thing you should do. Apart from writing uh, it down, you should also come back and look at what you have done. Unless you develop that habit of coming back to it and looking at what you committed to, I think it becomes then difficult to not let your mind wander because this wandering mind can be very dangerous especially during UPSC because there is so much to do so there might be occasional chances that you are falling back to this but come back to what you've written and try to implement that entirely and then this will slowly become a part of a habit and remember you have to do this at least for 8 to 10 days maybe 20 to 25 days to make it a habit of sticking to what you're doing first and then moving on to the next thing now the second thing is about mindset and the mindset really has to come from the fact that you have to realize that you can only do one thing at a time and that is the best way to utilize your time. So whenever and by one thing at a time I mean that of course you can study two subjects in a day, you can study uh, two subjects in two days, three days, you can change your subject, you can change your schedule like that but by focusing on one thing at a time I mean that your mind should not wander off to something else while you are studying something or while you are focusing on something. So let's say you are uh, thinking of studying economics and your mind is not able to focus on that particular subject, you are thinking about something else. In that case what you have to remember is that a doctor can only treat one patient at a time. A lawyer can only look at case of one client at a time. See you can only do justice to one thing at a time. You cannot possibly do more things than one at a time properly while your mind is in something else. Similarly, if you are reading a letter, you have a bunch of letters in front of you, you can only read one at a time. You can't read more than two, three emails at one time. Then you will not do justice to it. So similarly, when you are studying for something, when you are focusing on something, you should focus on that entirely and not commit your mind to something else, not let your mind wander to something else because you will not be mindful about it, you will not be doing justice to it. So you have to repeat this line, you have to remember this particular thing. When you are trying to train your mindset, apart from the technique that I told you, when you are trying to train your mindset to be able to focus on one particular subject when you are starting with this, you are focus on one particular answer writing or let's say prelims question practice because 
only when you completely commit yourself to one thing doing one thing when you're doing it learning that and then moving on to the next thing then your results of UPSC will get multiplied so always remember it is very important even though you have to shuffle a lot of different things different subjects parts of the syllabus differently it is very important that at one time you are able to focus on one thing and do it justice at that time and then move on to the next one that will help you to have a better grip of whatever you are studying so that is my thought for today that is what i wanted to share with you today i hope it helps you let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section obviously but apart from that my concepts with manoj is under preparation it is taking a lot of effort but i am taking out as much time as possible from my free time and be able to do that maybe on some time that i get on saturday and sunday and very soon i will be posting some of those concepts so that you can learn from them and get a hint also how to approach your upsc further bye bye take care have a very good day